It was a cold morning in Florida. 39 degrees. 39 degrees. We are seven stinking degrees away from freezing. Woo! It's been a while since I felt this kind of cold in Florida. And I don't want to hear it in the comments because I'm from Chicago originally, but guys, it has been three years. My blood is thinned. And down here, there's so much moisture in the air. It hits you right in your chest. 30, I venture to say 30 degrees in Florida. It feels colder than 30 degrees in Chicago. Anyway, I gotta finish this run because I am cold. degrees out, Central Florida. You know what that means. Everyone's losing their minds. We got about 30 feet away from the car and then we realized the way that James was was tossing and turning that maybe he was a little hungry. So we went back to the car, which is why the best nut is up here in the front seat with me. Um, Sarah and I came with the game plan. We're actually going to try to do the carrier on me right when we got out of the car. Just like he's been like, James has been like more restful in there lately. And it's body on body heat because he's got overalls on he's got hats we got blankets on blankets on blankets um but we thought maybe he'd enjoy the carrier more so we're going to try that on the way out and we're going to bring the bassinet and stroller regardless um so that if he doesn't end up liking the carrier today that we can just switch to the bassinet real quick but it is 6 30 hour and a half till park close we saw some fireworks on the way in got our christmas vibes on so far, so good. Knock on wood. He's a little asleep right now. He's sleeping. The monorail is here. Are we staying here this weekend? Actually, I'll give you a clue. We are not staying at a Magic Kingdom resort. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Magic Kingdom monorail station. We are in the Magic Kingdom an hour before close. Wow. But if you didn't know, Main Street actually stays open for an additional hour after park close. Yes. So that's why that. yeah. That's so that's why we can like peruse at least Main Street. Yeah. So we should probably dip out into one of the lands. Yeah. If we wanted to enjoy some of this park before that fake close at eight. Right. So it's crazy as usually we go to Chicago for Christmas and this time of December we're like jamming all the Disney Christmas we can in. So it feels so weird to be like we could literally come here how Christmas many times? Day. Like 20, 20 more times right. this year if we like went every single day. Right. But it just like feels so weird to like be at ease with that. Exactly. But we can't go a step further without showing you this beauty. Woohoo! I love popcorn. I want to do popcorn on our show. Like he loves popcorn. He does love popcorn. <laughs> so that would be just like torture. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. We're gonna look in here for potential Christmas gifts. It's like three seconds before Christmas. We're in Magic Kingdom. It's decorated to the nines with holiday stuff. And what does Sarah want to do? She wants the beeline into the sunglass hut. It's still sunny in the winter. But the thing is, I cannot be trusted with designer sunglasses. Well, I'm you, just not careful enough. You need to become a fan of Gooders. I, I think that there could be like the same style at Target or at Forever 21. And that, you're not going to lose me. or break or crack or drop yeah. the $300 pair of glasses? I just, I mean, I know I could, but I'm just, I'm just not a careful person. We are going to take James on his second attraction. I don't want to vlog anymore. Why? I'm just joking. <laughs> it went blurry when you said that because it knew it was oh. a lie. Take a guess. You have 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jingle Cruise. <laughs> Thank you. 
Leave your stroller behind anxiety. Really? Yeah. Why? We brought the bag with us. I know, but I don't know. It's just, it's like something to get used to. I mean, we did it with friends, but. Friends? Family? Family. He did really good. He slept through all of Jungle Cruise. Oh, he's stirring as I speak. I may have a jinx him, or he might hear me talking. We're gonna go through Frontierland. We're gonna see if we can find some hot chocolate, hot cocoa, hot cacao. Whatever your preference is, they should make a chocolate dough whip. That would be disgusting, I think. What? No, actually, if it was chocolate soft serve with dough, like twist. Oh, that'd that, be good. It's like a chocolate covered like, pineapple. Well, I like, um, at Rainbow Cone, I used to do the orange sherbet in chocolate, so it'd be kind of like that. Wait, you used to go to Rainbow Cone and not just get a Rainbow Cone? Yeah. Um, could we reevaluate some of our life decisions? I used to be picky. Well, we failed at getting hot cocoa because it's 8 o'clock on the dot. But, we have this very nice, empty from Thailand all to ourselves. Yeah, just mosey. I mean, technically I'm blind. There's four other bodies over there. But, just this, mosey. This music is like still ingrained in my identity because I listened to it for so many hours when I worked it. We are finishing a full lap around Magic Kingdom with Tomorrowland and I gotta say I like these masks when it's cold and they keep your face really warm. Toasted. Got some water art Mickey. Donald. Another Mickey. Ooh. Wait there's more. There's a Goofy here. Wait no that must be, that must be Donald. There's a Goofy. Goofy. There's a Pluto. Aww. There's a Daisy. You rarely see Daisy or Pluto. Never, I've never seen that many together. Yeah. Magic. I love these Tinkerbell trees. You said, stop. Look at that castle. I want to admire it. <laughs> now we're going to try to get ourselves in the confectionery and pick up some hot cocoa powder. Or a cookie or something delicious. Every single time we go down Main Street, Peter says, It's beautiful, but the garland across was better. Just what? I mean like like I like having it after, but it's delicious. Right. So But this this is because of Festival of Fantasy Parade is too tall, right? Yeah, I'd rather, yeah that's a hundred percent why. But I'd rather give a festival of fantasy. It is beautiful. It is. I will put in a picture of our family with the garland. And the mayor. Can't get much more magical than that. Oh, yeah. Whoa, all the way to the bypass to get in line for the confectionery. Worth it. Worth it, but probably my least favorite thing. The lines. Like. It's enjoyable once we get in, though. The lines, like, for rides aren't so bad, but it's, like, it's so weird to have to wait in line to get in the shop. Yeah, because, like, before COVID, you would, you, there are certain attractions where you would wait outside. Yeah. If it got really long. You just never right. waited outside of a store. It just you reminds just us of, in there. like, how different it is. This is what we're picking up. It says all the holiday stuff is 30% up. The trick is to bombard Sarah right at the moment of register when the cast member goes, anything else? And I say, quick, Sarah, grab two quick Christmas treats. And she goes, huh, what, huh? And then she grabs them. Oh, look up for Rice Krispie Treats with fruity pebbles on. These are so cute. I showed the scarf the other day at the Riviera, but I didn't see the hat or the matching ears. Hey, what, where the heck did that scaffolding come from? We'll have to get 
getting ready to bring back the opening show in the morning. Comment below if you remember our disdain for Monorail Gold. We've since made a man, but that was that was 2016 trip. Well, at the contemporary. We are home, and we had to show James's outfit. It was covered up the whole time. It's his first time wearing big boy overalls. Look at him. Oh, goodness. He's such an amazing kid. The daily message for December 8th. Pay attention to synchronicity and people who touch your life every day. These people can be angels who will help you along the way. Dr. Wayne Dyer. What? <laughs> it's three in the morning. <laughs> it's the latest. We've stayed up since our old apartment kitchen sign off days when you guys would be like, is that really the time? Well, in reality, Sarah and James have been sleeping on the couch. I woke them up a little bit ago we had to get plans of grandeur. We were supposed to eat. Paris on um, Gilmore Girls is yelling at me. That's all. I, I've been watching Gilmore Girls, and Sarah yeah. and James have been sleeping on the couch, so it's we completely did, my fault. We, we, eat, we did eat our Rice Krispie treats. And some we did gold, eat it. And some goldfish. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>